The coronavirus. Hey, what's it all about? Let's have an international healthy bastards club update for the common man. G'day there folks, Dr. Dave here. Now this is my healthy bastards update on this coronavirus. There's four things I want to tell you. Number one, what is a virus? Because a lot of people don't know. Number two, what is this coronavirus, COVID virus? Number three, what do you do if you think you got it? And number four, what should our community do? What's this all about? So number one, what is a virus? Because lots of people don't even know what a virus is. Now, a virus is one of these tiny little bugs that isn't even officially living. They survive by invading normal full-size cells that make up living animals and plants, which obviously includes human beings. Now, if a virus is able to invade the cells of a particular plant or animal, they force that cell to reproduce many more viruses by taking control of their genetic material. They can't actually multiply by themselves. They've got to invade a cell to do it. Now, there are thousands of different types of viruses that sort of form families, really. In the coronavirus family, these typically cause the common cold type symptoms. And most of us get a dose of this every year with a bit of a runny nose, bit of a fever, bit of a cough, but it's not a big deal. However, late last year, a new variant of this coronavirus family developed. This particular variant was called COVID-19, but we'll just call it coronavirus because it starts getting messy. So number two, what is this coronavirus all about? Well, coronavirus is totally new. No one's seen it before, so no one's got any immunity. But the way it works is this. If it infects someone, someone exposed to someone else who's had it, it sort of sits around inside that person or incubates for about four to 11 days, and then that person develops the first signs of a coronavirus infection, a bit of a dry throat, maybe a cough. Then most people go on and develop uh, fever, become quite unwell and develop a bit more of a cough. However, there are a small percentage of people who develop a severe infection. It goes down to their lungs, maybe causes pneumonia, make it shorter breath, chest pain, and it can even infect the heart. The people at risk here are uh, elderly or people with chronic disease. And those are the ones we're really worried about because they may well need support within the hospital system. Now, most people, get over this a week or two later and they've recovered and life goes on. So number three, what do you do if you think you've got the coronavirus? So it goes like this, because the picture's changing all the time. If you've got the sore throat, if you've got the cough, the fever, and you've had some sort of contact with someone who's had the coronavirus or you've been overseas, whatever, or if you're just worried, the best thing to do is to ring your local general practice or a special health line that's been set up by the Ministry of Health. Health line coronavirus, you can just check it on the net. Now they'll put you through some case criteria and then sort out whether you should visit somewhere, they'll tell you where and get some swabs done to see if you've got the virus or not. If you're not too badly affected, it's best to just hole up at home to let the virus run its course, but if you've got severe symptoms, then you need to be assessed by a medico to sort out whether you need to go to hospital or not. So number four, what's the best way of us Kiwis dealing with this virus? Well, to start with, it's coming, you know, more and more people are starting to get infected. So we've got two choices really, either we do nothing and let it happen, problem being, it could overwhelm our hospital system with really sick people. All the experts say, and I agree, it's better to try and slow down the spread of this virus to reduce the load on our health services by instituting really good public health measures, which I'm gonna take you through now, okay? Number one, it's best to avoid that close contact with people. Like for example, hard as it is, we shouldn't be <laughs> onging. Number two is you wash your hands. Now when I say wash your hands, you don't do it like this. Come and have a look at me here. A bit of this, a bit of that, da 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 Boom. Waste of time. When you wash your hands, it's over 20 seconds. You get a whole lot of the sanitizer, give it a good scrub. Soap's actually better than this stuff, to be quite honest. Even that's gonna break the part of my friend Keith who bought 20 packets of the stuff. But 
20 seconds of giving them a really decent scrub and then when you've done that, dry them off properly. Number three is you've got to reduce the spread of droplets if you sneeze or cough, okay? So if you sneeze, don't go all over everybody. You go into your handkerchief, okay? Equally so if you cough, don't go over the whole bloody room. You cough into your elbow. It's common sense, but Jesus, you wouldn't believe. Number four, should you use face masks? There's a big debate on this. If you uh, have a really super well-fitting face mask and cover the eyes as well, it's worth it. Otherwise, most experts say those cheap face masks you have just make you look ridiculous. Number five is get vaccinated. Get vaccinated against the flu virus and also against anything else you can think of that might affect your lungs, say the pneumococcal vaccine. The main reason for these vaccinations is not only to protect you against those infections, but if you get those infections and the coronavirus, then you could be in it deep. So number six, hard as it is, we've got to cut down on mass gatherings because it's that person-to-person -person contact. But, you know, this is a very difficult thing for us. We're a sporting, social nation, but it's only for a short period. So come on, fellas, just toughen up, OK? Now, number seven, if you're not sure, check it out. Check out with the Ministry of Health Healthline, which is constantly updating. Also with your local general practice, they're updating. This whole scenario is in flux. But if you keep in tune with what's going on with these professionals, they'll tell you the latest. So don't be scared. The main thing is most people will get over this, and as a country, we've just got to pull it together and make it happen. So in summary, folks, this is a new virus. All of us have got to stick together, be safe, and keep informed. Otherwise, if you get stuck, just read a copy of the Bushman's Bible.